Hello, good morning, and you are watching the Short Vol Show live, and I am in ghost form today so that you can see the charts behind me without me having to move all the time. All right, so last week we saw big sell-offs, and um, as promised, I'm going to look at a couple stocks that um, just really got schmundered on Friday, and the thing with these is I'm not quite sure exactly what you want to do with them. Um, at some point, these will become scoops. Now, you know, in another market, uh, these would have been a huge buying opportunity. And let's just go immediately to the first one, which is uh, J and J Johnson and Johnson. And let's take a look at the chart from Friday for Johnson and Johnson. And you see this huge red line there. That's the sell-off. And if we go to the, let's go to the 10-day maybe, and you just see this huge sell-off from 148 down to 133. And the amazing thing about this is J&J is a darling um, of the industry and people love to recommend this one. And a lot of people say that, um, you know, this is an awesome stock and it's undervalued and it's a great performer and all this stuff. And look, whack. Now, this should be a lesson to you that any stock can go down. Any stock can go lower. Um, people fall in love with stocks. I remember my, my grandmother, my Nana used to talk about Pfizer, like it was the best thing in the world. Well, this shows you here that any stock can falter. Um, it's like, uh, you know, it's like in, um, in, I mean, you know, I'm in recovery. It's like in AA, the people you think, you know, somebody's got it figured out and then whack. Um, and like I said, I don't know if this it, now, J&J is one where I'm particularly on the fence about whether this is a, a, a buying opportunity here and this should be scooped or uh, if this is just going to continue lower and you should just uh, short this down. You're going to have to figure that out for yourself, I'm afraid. Um, what I can say is that Gamma owning options uh, would have worked big time on Friday. And when we look at the volatility here, these moves that have been happening are huge. And, you know, most of the time, the wisdom these days is for retail traders not to generally own options, not to own straddles, not to own gamma. Um, I saw people commenting on some of my videos, maybe buy the straddle. Well, guess what? Owning a straddle has worked in a lot of these I- issues lately. And J&J, like I said, particular one where, you know, solid company well loved by so many people um, probably will move higher at some point. But, you know, do I want to catch this falling knife after Friday? Not necessarily. But, you know, value, um, these are becoming obviously better buys than they were a couple days ago. Let's go on to uh, the next one. Uh, let's look at PSA. And I'm going to uh, remove a little bit of my opacity and become a little bit uh, more uh, in the real world here. Let's see if I can correct this a little bit. All right, so I'm going to move up to 80% opacity and join you a little bit more on the screen here. All right, is that a little better? Um, And here we see, you could call me the ghost of Christmas past if you like. Okay, so here's PSA, um, publicstorage.com, another one that whack it was up a little bit on friday actually but in general been getting whacked uh and once again this one up four bucks on friday after a big sell-off now um you know if you are going to short these it would be a good time to short them when they when they go back up a little bit um a lot of the medical stocks have been getting getting whacked uh here's another one c dev you know straight down and um you know, if this trend continues, this this one would be a good short one. Let's uh let's widen out a little bit, and we see. Look at that, whack, whack down. Um, and there's so many charts that have a similar uh shape to this one. Look at this one, A B C B, whack, boom, way down, and um you know easily could continue. Um, let's look at another one. Okay, so this one is Bank of Montreal and just extended move to the downside again. 
Um, Costco. Costco is one of the darlings of this year. Has had this huge rally. And look, whack on Friday. Huge move down on Friday. Um, and just... You've got to think that weak hands, people that bought this um, around this area or slightly higher, are going to think about this over the weekend and maybe get out of more. Okay, let's take a look at some other ones here. Um, let's take a look at um, one that hasn't really gotten whacked yet but it has the potential. Now, this one might be a good short. Kimberly Clark, look at it. It hasn't gotten whacked yet, but if the market continues to go lower, ones like this are going to are gonna follow it lower. I uh, have to give credit where credit is due to our friend um, Don Kaufman with United Healthcare. He was talking about shorting it earlier last week, and uh, it really did get whacked on Friday, but you know has room to travel farther. Here's a 10-day on United Healthcare. Got whacked on Friday. Uh, he was talking about shorting it up around here, and you know, definitely room to travel lower. Um, now, some that look a little bit better than this, however, are like Caterpillar. Look, Caterpillar's been hanging hanging tough, and maybe this is something that you know you jump into. Maybe you sell some out of the money puts. Or you get long it via some sort of vertical. Uh, Caterpillar, for example, if we go out a little bit, let's go out to like June. And maybe uh, you buy the uh, 130, 140 vertical in June. You could pay well, four bucks for it. And, um, you know, and more than double your money if this recovers some because it's, it, it appears to be holding up well. Um, let's look at CDEV. I believe we already looked at that one. Getting whacked. I mean, there's a whole list of issues that look very similar to this. Uh, and it's like, uh, well, do you, do you follow them lower? Do you short them and keep keep riding lower or is this a scoopable opportunity well i would say it depends on what the company does if the company's actually making money and has real employees and um has more than one product then this is these are scoopable opportunities here folks where like when the market comes back these are going to come back um when i see now you know for me psychologically i want to everything that i see that's way down like this i want to scoop and and I have to resist the temptation to try to scoop these things uh, and try to um, play them to the upside because, you know, they're not all going to come back. And um, But some of them definitely will. You don't want to catch a falling knife here and have this go lower and lower. But, like, when I see a stock that's down from, like, $5 to $1, I think, wow, I can scoop this in percentage terms you know, there's a good chance at like doubling your money in some issue that's going from four dollars to one dollar, or some issue like this one here, INWK, where it's down to three seventy three. Um, you know, and you can envision it, um, you know, retracing back up to five six dollars as soon as the market chills out a little bit. But you know, resist. I resist that temptation at this point because we don't see. Uh, a rally right now. Here's another one, AAWW, uh, just getting schmundered over Friday. So, um, you know, these are some issues here. Um, I've considered if I'm going to scoop something, I've considered um, some ET uh, exchange traded products that are leveraged. Like I was looking at one that is the. Um, the FANG stocks leverage, FNGU. Uh, I'm considering if, you know, on a big, big down day, if we get a huge down day, I'm considering scooping one of these leveraged uh, products. FNGU is a triple long FANG issue. Um, some of these other ones on the list, though, are, are short. So, like this uh, SPXS is... Uh, short the S&P 500. So that's 
um, this is something that you would get into to continue to ride lower. Um, I am happy that I am not long a bunch of stocks right now, and I am happy that I'm, I, I am on the sidelines. And we all know a lot of times the best trade you can do is nothing and just hang on to what you've got going right now. Um, what do I have going right now? Well, I've got this Tilray uh, situation where, for me, optimally, Tilray is between uh, 75 and 65. Uh, I'm set up for it to move lower from here and to kind of not move too much lower, but to move lower from here. Uh, and we will maybe readjust during the week. Um, Tilray don't look good. Now, if you read news stories about it, news stories sound great, but the, the price action don't look good. Um, you know, I would love for you to go out there and make money in this week before Christmas. Usually before the week before Christmas is boring. You know, we've had years of people complaining. There's no volatility. There's nothing going on. There's nothing to do. You can't say that right now, folks. There's plenty to do. There's craziness out there. There's opportunity everywhere, and I want to see you get in on it. And um, this is what I've been doing, and I, I encourage you to do this as well. Um, I've been looking at lists of stocks, and this is what, you know, if you study Warren Buffett, this is what how Warren Buffett got, in, got into this game is by looking at lists of stocks. Um, if we go back to our, our uh, news stories here, I've been going on to the news stories here, to live news. And let's take, for example, um, there's stocks which set a 52-week low, okay? I just pulled that up, and I'm just looking at all the stocks that have set a 52-week low, and I'm just going through them. And I'm finding some stuff that's interesting, some stuff that is, um, and, th you know, there's many, many, many stocks out there and they all look different. And find find ones that you like the look of that you think you can uh, do something with. I was looking at this one, Cool Holdings. Let's see, AWSM. So we'll type that in, AWSM. And this thing, look at look at this move it made here. I haven't researched what this was, but this was in September. Makes a move from oh, around two, three bucks up to 22, okay? And it's just ripped lower ever since then. But all of a sudden we see, you know, some volume here. Now, maybe that's just people getting out, but um, maybe, you know, just, I'm not a penny stock guy, but this looks interesting to me. Not a whole lot's going on. Then you see a little bit of a volume move here. And, you know, you might get a pop. What's your downside on this? Well, I guess it could go to zero. Um, but, you know, dig into it a little bit deeper and see if you find something you're interested in. The way to make money as a trader is to come up with your own ideas. I'm not going to give you the ideas. You're going to have to figure those out for yourself. But, you know, dig into some of these lists. Stocks which set new 52-week lows. Biggest movers. Um, when you find something that you're interested in, check it out. See if it's see if there's options on it. See if there's volume. Um, this one probably isn't going to have options in it. Nope. Um, but a lot of these other ones will. Wheat and precious metals has made a move to the upside here. Look at that rip to the upside. Now that's volatility. If you're long gamma, you're making money in this one. Uh, long gamma means owning options. You might own straddles, you might own calls, you might own puts. And in this market, you know, when you get these huge moves, everything is cheap. Um, this stuff pays for itself quickly. Usually we say, don't be long gamma for a retail person. Um, stuff is not priced for retail people to be long gamma. But the market is all over the place right now. And strategically, you can own some stuff and make big money on it, and you should be able to finance it either way. Um, SRPT. Now, this looks like a candidate to fall out of bed. Um, 
when we see a whole bunch of stocks way down, some other ones haven't fallen out of bed yet, um, that might be an opportunity. We see that, for example, medical stuff is falling apart. We also see building materials uh, falling apart. Um, you can check out, once again, the Theotrade segments where they're talking about construction materials, you know, Toll Brothers, um, Home Depot, these stocks falling apart as um, people aren't building that much right now. Uh, part of that due to, of course, interest rates rising, making it harder to finance stuff. Um, look at the down, well, Toll Brothers has been going down for a while. Um, but get out there, do some research, do some work, and there's opportunities out there. There's so many stocks out there. People focus on just a couple big ones, but there are so many out there that you should be able to find something that interests you that, uh, that catches your eye. Let's take a look at one more here, EPD. And I want to take a look at RH. That RH was one that I was trading before. It's high-end housewares. Hasn't, um, you know, ha lo hasn't had declines. Look at it. it. It's right where it was months ago. Now, if the market continues to fall, this will fall with it at some point. Uh, RH can cancels convertible notes offering. After hours news. Yeah, so get out there. Um, this is this is the time where you should be working the hardest because whoever works the hardest is going to find opportunities in this market, and there are opportunities here, folks. This is a uh, monumental time to be trading and to be making money, and um, it's time to figure it out. It's time to do some work on a Sunday uh, so that tomorrow is going to be a big day for the markets, of course. We're right on the edge in um, the... S the SPY, the SPX, of breaking to the downside. We've broken to the downside already in the Russell, and um, NASDAQ's not far behind. So um, don't get lulled into a holiday-type uh, thing. Uh, stay at the top of your game because even though the holidays are coming up, this market is pretty much on fire, and it's mostly to the downside. Uh, I'm excited for you to make some money, and I'd love I love to hear that some sort of inspiration that I gave you helps you to make that money. Let's uh, get excited. We're going to hit the ground running in this new year. Stay small. Keep it tight. And as I said, opportunities abound here. There's scared, panicked people, and people are going to be heading for the exits on a lot of these issues as they move lower, and that creates opportunity for all of us here. Um, so I'm excited. Get excited with me. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.